Here we are in the boat warehouse showroom again, and back with Dave Jackson. Hey, Rob, how are you? Good, fella, good. Rob, uh, low 1610 fish and skate. New out for us last year. Uh, this is a 2016. We're in the 45th anniversary of low. This boat is really making its mark in the industry. One thing I want to point out immediately is it is a 16 foot 10 boat. We wish they call it a 17 because most of our competitors aren't quite 17. But what I want to show you, the main thing is this is a 96 inch beam boat. This boat for 17 foot width is as wide as a 22 foot boat. Look at that. Is it ever wide? I mean, I'm running a GoPro here and I can hardly get it in the camera and that's not something I see every day. That's wicked. Yeah, it's in the Deep V series. Again, fish and ski, meaning this boat does a combination of things very well. Um, custom trailer, as, as we spoke about earlier on all the other models, uh, you really appreciate the depth of this boat in the front. Takes a nasty chop, good for big water. That's a beautiful boat. And again, this nice uh, matte finish on the trailer. Yes. Easy to maintain, looks good. Um, the trailer's custom fit to the boat, which is nice. Yes. It's not just a random trailer. That's right. Yeah, that's a beautiful boat. And uh, the step up fenders. Um, I, it's interesting, I noticed it's got like, it's got aluminum for the bunks, yeah. which is nice. Yeah, they're uh, aluminum brackets, uh, no rot. Basically, well, they're set in their place now, so there's no need to ever have to adjust this. Yeah. It does have load guides, more for uh, just visualizing your boat when you're pulling on onto the trailer and it's submerged in the water. These are kind of like goal posts. As long as you get between them, you're going to be able to load that boat straight. Yeah, and they're nice and solid too. Like that's that's some heavy gauge metal in there. It's not uh, not the wimpy stuff you buy at Canadian Tire or something just to bolt on. And what I like too is with that on there, you're not going to be into these fenders with your hull. That's right. You know, they're good solid fenders. The step up fenders, which as you mentioned before on previous models, you know, you can step on them and reef on them and get crazy and you're not going to bust them off like some of the other ones. And a swing tongue, tongue jack, all these things included with it instead of having to add 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 when you get to the store yeah we spoke earlier on another model again uh pull up cleats uh great for tying it onto the dock but also for not catching your fishing rods or your clothing on it when you're moving around in the boat and they don't pop up which pop-ups are are nice in theory but when they break then they're no fun yes this boat has a track channel if you want to add a custom snap on cover you don't have to drill any holes in it oh, the accessory yeah. Uh, snaps mount right into this track you can also add cleats on the pinch screws and move ah. them from side to side without having to drill holes in your boat oh that's great nice customized ability fuel neck fill again on the left side making it easy when you fill your vehicle most vehicles fuel from the left side so does your boat that's great yeah it's kind of instinctive at that point eh? yes that's awesome this boat comes standard with a 90 horse. That's your starting engine. It is available also up to a 150. The boat works very well with the 94 stroke Merc on it. But like you say, you want a little more power, you can get it if you're happy with that. Well, that's not a problem. Whatever your heart desires, it can be done here at the boat warehouse. Custom swim platform. This is not a bolt on. This is an actual factory welded bracket with a three step mounting from the side. Love that feature. Yeah, that's great. I've never seen that actually. <laughs> From the side, that's great. You're away from the prop, you're away from the motor. You got lots of room, gives you the side to grab onto. This yeah. is a, that's a, that's a brilliant idea. Yeah. It's even got a cutaway in it so you can get to that U-bolt in the back. Yes. <laughs> I mean, talk about thinking it through. That's great. Well, Dave, give us a tour of the inside. Yeah, let's go, uh, let's come on up inside this boat, Rob. So, again, we talked about the width of the cockpit from the outside. This is what it looks like on the inside. Uh, lots of room to walk around you want to go fishing fight your fish you can put your toes right up under the side here get your knees against the boat I'm not a huge fisherman but I do under appreciate that uh, ability uh, there are four bases you'll notice there is a, uh, a pedestal seat in the front in the fishing position it does move back into the cockpit allowing for another center passenger here and two built-in jump seats on this model nice great seats when you want them when you don't need them they're out of the way they are also very low to the floor great for small children that's awesome that's great nice tall backs on them too eh? and this is is this aluminum underneath here yeah absolutely we talked about that in the other boat a lot of the composite or all, a lot of the lids in these boats are all aluminum as is the boxes so the lot a lot less plywood in the boat 
and they wrap right around so it's got lots of lots of integrity lots of strength yeah that gives you structure to stand on it when you want to do some fishing of course or come in and out of the boat that's awesome we got a, a good sized live well in this boat um looks like it's got a, a bait well yes it does insert. actually they come with a, a custom bait bucket uh, <laughs> a lot of companies do do this this is uh again the minnow pail which can be added in there or, or kept out <laughs> nice nice i keep saying awesome all the time in these videos but it's kind of hard with a lot of features like that because it is awesome i yeah. grab handles on both sides little things like that that to a guy like myself who boats on a regular basis you, you can see the benefits um little glove boxes like this there's never enough storage in any boat i've ever been in so every little bit that there is it's just a it's a huge benefit yeah many pockets lots of places to put stuff this boat has a jensen stereo come standard with two speakers We've done some features with this boat to cater it to a family use. We've added an extra set of speakers. It is Bluetooth. There's an auxiliary charging pl or a plug here, oh, yeah. and also a 12 volt charging plug. <clears throat> Isn't that great? Again, more some more costume custom uh, fiber look, carbon fiber look, uh, full gauges. Uh, yeah, sorry, we don't have this set up right now, but maybe That's okay. we can come back to that later. We've got uh, full gauges here. One thing we like to do with the fishing skis is add the chrome accent steering wheel. It really kind of finishes the look. Okay. This is also a tilt steering boat. Oh, really cool. Again, we've taken a standard boat and added features that we feel our customers want. The bow cushion kit is a big hit with the families. A lot of people want a combination boat. This allows you to completely finish the boat into a bow rider's position and strip it out when you want to go fishing. Oh, yeah, I can see that. So if you want that pedestal seat off, you just pop it off, throw it on the back deck, and then the cushion just flips over. Yes. Isn't correct. that cool? That's a great idea. And it's got rails on the front, so it's got a little bit of added safety. And Yes, part know. of the cushion kit is uh, does um, um, include the railing. It is required for marine safety that if you do put bow rider cushions in a boat, the manufacturer wants to see handrails and grab rails those rails are fantastic coming into the dock grabbing onto oh, yeah. you can tie fenders off to them people really use those to their advantage i can see that this is and this is a true walkthrough like you're saying it looks like it's got rod storage yeah or something. it does rob um the again it's a fishing ski so it's trying to do two purposes so there is but there is uh, a rod storage uh, up to six and a half, seven foot rods. There is also an in-floor storage. This, because it is a fishing ski, we understand people maybe want to put a wakeboard in there or uh, water skis, Isn't that great? Et and it, again, aluminum, nice, like just really nice fish fish. A vinyl floor. Yes, again, vo cockpit vinyl floor, something that we, uh, we, we do in most of our boats like this. You've got finished sides with padding. Again, long item storage. Oh yes, of course. Lots of cup holders, Rob, throughout the boat, adjustable. There's your Tim Hortons large, there's your Tim Hortons small. <laughs> pretty slick, pretty slick. And uh, the, again, as, I, as I'm always in these videos trying to, to stress is that this boat is equipped this way, but you can, you can come in if you like this boat and you don't have a purpose for the cushions in the front. If you prefer to go to a larger block and you want a little more horsepower or, or what have you, I mean, you're the biggest dealer in the world for this product. That's it, right. You can get whatever a person wants and literally custom do it the way you like. Yeah, we've got a, a, a fixed pedestal seat this year. Uh, with slider this allows you to adjust for different length legs leg lengths the, we That's talked okay. earlier about how tall my or how long my legs are again i can't even reach the bulkheads people don't appreciate this but a lot of this space is never used you could put tackle boxes in there we talked about pets and in the boat love to curl up in the, in the shade this is where the dogs go that's great. It's a dog house. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Well, that's great. This is a beauty. Well, thanks again, Dave. Really appreciate that. Okay. Dave, there was something you wanted to show me about this. Uh, is it a ski bar, is it? Yeah, Rob, this uh, doubles as uh, for some pumping some iron. And you can see by the size of my pipes that I'm pretty serious about that. Um, Rob, I want to show you, this is a ski bar that we've ordered uh, custom on this boat from the factory. This is a new taper lock system. This allows any family member to just simply grab this from the storage compartment. We're done fishing. Now we're going to go for a ski or a tube at the end of the day. I want you to feel the weight of that. That's oh a my. solid piece. Okay. Yeah, that's there. That's right. You got that, Rob? Yeah, that's... Okay with that? I, um, I got pipes like you, What I want to show you is, again, the ease of how this thing goes in and out. That simply pops into the floor 
and with a, a rotation of that system, it is now locked in. Wow. You cannot pull that out. Beautiful high point over the motor and acts as an assist handle when you're walking in and out of the boat. Ah, yes, as we spoke about a different model, it makes total sense. That's right. So this is gonna be a great thing around the dock seat, your buddy. Can you pull that rod out for me? He's pulling on it. Come on, come on, just come on. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is really, uh, this is really solid and no outrigger bars to worry about tripping over. No, no tripod arms in the way. No. And a lot of companies have gotten away from those because they do take up cockpit, cockpit space. Yes. And they do get in the way of the yeah. rear seats. Oh, that's awesome. That's a great design. And just, just one twist? One twist and left. Maybe I twisted it too many times? Well, uh, yeah, there is a procedure for oh, that. There I you just go. didn't have oh, it straight yeah. up. So again, that pops out, stores away in the long compartments. When you want to just fish, there's your fishing seat location for your high mount. What a great design. Uh, back to the dash uh, quickly. We've, I put the Lowrance fish finder in place. This is a basic hook three. Again, we want our customer to have a basic fish and reference point. It does show water and air temperature. We do understand, like with, we spoke about the trolling motors earlier, that people want to cater this stuff. We do install Lowrance and Hummingbird product here. Uh, we can put a full seven inch screen GPS unit on this. Quite often we're able to use the existing wires to pull through the rigging hardware to cater the boat exactly the way the guy wants it. That's great. So it comes with the, with it's something to work with, but if this isn't your thing or you want something a little better, that's always a possibility. Correct. Right on. Thanks, Dave. You're welcome.